Hello mga kabox! Kung ikaw ay bago pa lang sa ating channel, pindutin naman ang subscribe button at notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga bago videos. Ngunit maraming salamat at enjoy sa panonood. Ladies and gentlemen, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Standing with head trainer Lenny De Jesus, wearing red with Ray, officially weighing in at 147 pounds. An excellent professional record consisting of 35 victories, including 21 knockouts with only three defeats. Tonight, with honor, he fights for hundreds of millions of people on the African continent as he challenges for this world title. Ladies and And is the opponent across the ring fighting out of the red one. It is a trainer, Freddie Roach, wearing red, official weight 145, three quarter pounds. His professional record, 50 victories, including 38 knockouts, with three defeats and two draws. From Kayumba, Serengani Province, the former flyweight world champion, former super bantamweight world champion, former featherweight world champion, Former super featherweight, world champion, former lightweight, world champion. Hands and hand speed will be immediately apparent. Left hand was blocked by Claudie's gloves. Claudie is not throwing. He's really only thrown a few punches so far. Pacquiao has seen most of his stuff blocked, but gets a little left hand in there. But, but, but you know, Claudie right now is fighting his fight, and it's, and it's what he should do. He can never try to match Manny with punch for punch. That's not him. But I think the way he's fighting, trying to just get close and eventually start shooting a little pecky right hand lead through the side. That's what he's got to do. Claudio went into his deep defensive guard at that time. Both hands up, gloves in front of his face. Pacquiao banged away against his arms as they went to the ropes. I, I think these first few minutes have enormous significance. Claudio came out looking like he wants to see what this force of nature is all about. And I think Pacquiao has to impress him here to keep him on the defensive. So far, Clyde doesn't look overly impressed. Nope, he's given a lot of problems to at this stage. Manny cannot pick him out because so far he's not been able to land a punch. But he should have expected that. You know, the, the, the talk of him going out and knocking out Clyde, I just was always ridiculous. I think it's going to be a long fight. Well, Clyde is so much bigger and stronger. Yeah, you know, and plus he's skilled and talented, particularly as a defender. So how could it be an easy fight? It can't, right? And the, and the best thing that Manny can do is try to catch Slaughter when he punches. That's what he's most wrong. Not right now. But already you see the problem for Claudia in terms of the punch output equation. How can he win rounds when he's throwing about one punch for every three or four that Pacquiao releases, or so it appears? Body shot by Pacquiao. Claudia short to the jab. It seems unlikely that Claudia can win rounds short of hurting Pacquiao, but he has shown in this first round that he can catch Pacquiao clean. And just did there with a jab. Just what I said, he had to come back with a little tail end punches. Right Hard right hand by Claudia. Because his right hand and his left hand is so high, the same level of Manny's head, which means it's very easy for him to shoot short, direct punches. Pacquiao has landed two punches on Claudia's belt line, and referee Richard Ramos, or Rafael Ramos, has let them both go. Good tactical first round. Both fighters probably did about what they wanted to do. Copy box numbers will show Manny throwing more.
Be ready for the jab. Go to your straight right hand. Give me another round. So we learn a little bit about Pacquiao's thought process, as in round one, he throws more jabs than he has ever thrown in any one round counted by CompuBox. Manny threw 79 punches in the round. It was not a good round for him. He only landed 11, but Pani only threw 35 punches. So how do you win a round when the other man has thrown twice as many punches and is the more dynamic fighter anyway? Well, as the fight goes on, if Manny gets a little frustrated and loses his spirit because of the fact that he can't land the shot, You'll probably see Claudio started landing with a short punch, just like he tried to do right there. Just as Manny backs away and he's relaxing, those little shots come out from such a short distance where he can't see it. The question is, can Claudio at any point hurt Pacquiao with one of these straight shots shooting up the middle? It may not, but after going down the stretch, I think the fight's going to be a very tight fight out there. And right now, the fight is going more to Claudio's plan, and I think then that Manny, was he thought Manny thought he would be able to penetrate a little bit by now, but so far he's not found the solution. So, will Pacquiao be patient? Can he take several rounds and try to construct a way of picking Claudia apart? Or will he get frustrated and impatient? Well, I tell you, well, he's throwing shots that he said hasn't been able to do too much. And the main thing, I think he's starting to start preparing himself to try to win a decision, as I said earlier. Well, He's preparing to win a decision because, unless I'm totally out to lunch here, and barring a big change, he'll exit this round up two rounds to nothing on the scorecard. That punch was well below the belt line. Didn't do any real damage. Oh, There's another one right on the belt. Raphael is letting both fighters throw at the belt line. There's a combination for Pacquiao. And he manages to rip a left through the guard. Clotty pretends to wobble. Usually a sign that a fighter's actually hurt. Doesn't look like Clotty was hurt there. No, Clotty's not hurt. I think really he's getting very comfortable in this fight right now. He tried the first couple of uppercuts a moment ago. That's what he hopes will be a big weapon. But when he throws the uppercut with the left, Pacquiao will counter with that brilliant right hook of his. That's been a very damaging punch. There's a good left for Claudio straight onto the face of Pacquiao. Claudio is landing effective punches. Man is throwing them, but the really effective those are short point to point punches are more effective from Claudio than from Manny at this stage. Yeah, Claudio's losing this round by a wide margin. Great. And Pacquiao is starting to get some leather around the Claudio's He's going to do. He's got to keep trying to find a way to get those. You want to try to get those points. Starts going for the points. Stay away from that right hand. You got your moves to your right. Okay, stay away from this power shot. Right, okay. You keep circling him. Okay, let's go punch it down. Okay, baby? Relax now. We're in a fight now. Okay, baby? Here you see Cloudy blocking some shots, and then I think he's going to do his little jig to imitate as if he was hurt. But I think it's part of him becoming getting more relaxed with the situation now. Too relaxed. Too relaxed. Too relaxed. He allowed Pacquiao to throw 96 punches in that round, and he threw 27. It doesn't matter to me if he's landing the clean shots. You he can't turn around that. You let Pacquiao really start to move his hands, he'll relax you all the way. That's right. He'll put you to sleep. I agree with you, Emmanuel, that Claudio feels comfortable with what he's doing. Yeah, but Manny's winning the fight. He's doing what he's saying. you got to remember to keep just doing what he's doing, just out-punching this guy. Don't go for a knockout. Yeah, what Claudio has not been able to do is to stop Pacquiao from throwing so many punches. And he thought maybe he could. No, he can't stop him from doing that. Manny's going to throw punches. 
but I, I don't get a certain point you start getting a little frustrated still when you're throwing punches and really for clean punches yourself. You're not landing anything. To me still the effective punches is from karate. Or maybe it being out work, but he's landed the effective punches. Well, I, I've seen a lot of effective punches from Pacquiao, in fact, more than from Quadi, although not as a percentage of the punches that Pacquiao's throwing. Quadi's making every punch count, but he, as Jim, you say, he needs to throw I, more I often. Different. I've seen Quadi landing the screen straight punches, the clean punches. Perhaps Emmanuel, but he threw 27 and landed five in the last round. And, and but Manny threw 96. I'm saying Manny's winning yeah. the fight, okay. but I'm All saying right. the clean effect of punches are still to me kind of clean, the cleaner. They're not punch. enough of them. Yeah, and, not and, enough. and they're cleaner punches, but even when Claudie's blocking some of these Pacquiao shots, they're partially blocked. They're also partially landing. And Manny, interestingly, has shown more focus to the body in the first couple rounds than I think I've seen from him in quite a while. Looks like Pacquiao's also felt, felt Claudie's power more in this third round. Definitely. His, his head was snapped up by a, an uppercut. But nothing stops him from pouring the punches on. A minute left in the round. He's already thrown 61 punches in the round. Hard right hand by Claudie. Best punch of the fight. And that's going to have to be what Claudie does if he hopes to win. Well, see, Manny got to be careful he don't get frustrated after a while of just punching and not hitting nothing but arms. He's got to realize just got to work this guy, try to win this decision. And not get frustrated. offensive output is simply too limited for him to be able to compete on the scorecards with Manny Pacquiao at this moment. Here. Okay. Very nice. How you feel, buddy? Good. Good? Okay. Again. Again. Finish with the hook it out. Alright, finish with the hook it out. It's easy. It's easy. Just like in the gym, we finish with the hook and save this out. Here you see what's maybe typical of, of Claudia's effective punches. They're little simple, little straight little shots that he's landing. But the problem is he's not throwing enough of them. But his punches are very effective when he does throw them. Copy box numbers through round three. Landed punches, no huge difference. Pacquiao 44. He's got a margin over Claudia, who's landed 26. The difference is Pacquiao has thrown 281, and Claudia has only thrown 100 in the first three rounds. So Manny is averaging 93 punches per round in the first three rounds, and Claudia is averaging 33. Harold, how do you have it? <laughs> okay, Jim. Three to nothing. 30 to 27, Manny Pacquiao. You know, Jim, he's so smart, it's amazing. You know, you come out and you see a guy covered up like Ricky Wright, hands held high, elbows in tight. What do you do? You step around. Manny Pacquiao keeps stepping around the guy and whacking him in the ribs and piling up points. Forget the fact that he's breaking him down to the body. I mean, he's, you know, just keeps banging him in the ribs, banging him in his watch. You see, he'll step right there and see. He steps around and he usually follows it with a, there he goes, stepping around again, banging to the body. Harold, do you, you, Manny. you agree this is the most body punching we've seen Pacquiao do? Oh, yeah. I mean, beautiful body punches, no question. This guy's covered up. You can't hit him in the jaw. You bang him in the body. You know, that said, and Harold, you're right, but. We've seen already in three rounds, three and a half rounds, Manny Pacquiao hit cleanly to the head. More than we've seen him hit cleanly to the head in the Diaz, De La Hoya, Hatton, and Cotto fights combined, I think. And Cotto had some success early. Yes, he did. Most people gave Cotto a couple of rounds, the first and the fifth. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not sure what Raphael was stopping them for for a second there. 
clapped Cardi Body. Harold, what was Raphael dealing with Jim, there? Jim, you can't hit the guy with two hands. Uh, Manny Pacquiao threw two hands at once. Raphael, oh, oh, here we go. Cloudy backed into a corner and for a moment was inert as Manny banged away. I'm not sure what's happening to Joshua Cloudy and why he's not throwing Emmanuel. There he goes. Went a long time without releasing his hands there. Yeah, that's a really small most points to in the meantime. Well, I think Manny's breaking his guard down. It looks to me as though he's starting to land more. Body still tight, muscular, so controlled. He's like a welterweight tank in there, the way he's built. Both guys are fighting the, the fight that they play into a great degree. That's what's going to be interesting to see who wins out in the end. Because Pacquiao said he's going to be punching the in and out, side to side, giving him angles. Body said he's going to cut skull up and try to break his grill by just letting him punch himself out. So it's going to be interesting to see how this fight finishes off. Those are two hard body shots for Claudi. Pacquiao has hurt and knocked fighters out in recent years by hitting them with punches they didn't see coming from awkward angles. And Claudi, because he's paying so much attention to his defense, is not getting hit with those punches. Claudi scores with a good left hand. Just too few of them for Claudi. Long stretches without offensive output. Pacquiao is consistently throwing and throwing. Come on. Okay. Here we see the, I guess the referee called him fresh rule when he exactly like clapped his head between both hands. Something I've never saw did before. <laughs> and he, he, and and you see him in the corner where Manny just pummeling him right here with some great shots in there. Nothing that landed that clean, but it was enough to get excitement and got everyone in cool and and made the cloud was hurt. Yeah, on the replay, so nothing landed. I was impressed that Pacquiao was throwing 93 punches around in the first three rounds. In the fourth round, he threw 116 and, and moved his landed punches number up to 24. Plotty was 10 out of only 21 punches thrown. Well, that's what Manny's going to have to do to win this fight, because he's going to have to go for a decision. And, you know, going down the stretch, he's got to be ready to hold up just in case this man starts putting a little bit more punches together in addition to this walk. Well, right, right here you see Claudia applying a little more pressure early in this round. Though he's still not moving his hands. times in building up to the fight that Claudia is fighting for the first time with trainer Lenny DeJesus and DeJesus has spent most of his career as a cut man not as a trainer in fact it was Manny Pacquiao's cut man in Pacquiao's last loss against Eric Morales in 2005. Claudia wanted a trainer who worked with him earlier in his career and got a Godwin Cote to come here and handle him for this fight. But the United States uh, immigration Department did not allow a visa for Cote, and uh, that left Claudia having to fight in what account, in, in what amount to makeshift circumstances for him. He's such a veteran, and he's so deeply ingrained in his own style that it's hard to imagine it would affect him all that much. But of course, you always want to have the training camp with the trainer you prefer. Yeah, but I, I, I was not super impressed with his training before, so I think Larry behaves would do very well. But I mean, psychologically, to be a problem with him. But I was understanding that he was going back and forth between the trainers recently, anyway, even before this guy. Well, he didn't want the trainer who trained him in New York for the Cotto fight. He wanted Godwin Cote, who had worked with him earlier in his career. That's what he couldn't get. And now he winds up with the Hastings as sort of a, a last resort. Pacquiao, of course, his relationship with Freddie Roach is probably the strongest relationship of any fighter and trainer in this 
Now, this is from Manny has a good chance to try to hit Cloudy when he starts punching, and that's when he beats himself over a little bit. See that when he punches, he pulls his head up. And that's when Manny has a trap catch when he's punching himself. And when Cloudy just guards like this and doesn't let his hands go, he's giving the fight away. Yeah. He has no chance. If he punches himself, he may get caught, so that's his safety thing. I'm not sure Joshua Cloudy came to win tonight. Baby, you gotta take a chance, okay? Come on, I know you're in a fight. Come on, we gotta take chances. Move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. My lord. What are you waiting for? Come on, kiss the head. Let's take a look at a punch zone graphic which will show you where Manny Pacquiao is landing his punches through five rounds. And look at the body shots. 41 out of his 84 landed punches of body shots, relatively equally distributed. 24 of them with the left hand, 17 with the right hand. That's been the heart of the Pacquiao attack tonight. Average per round through five rounds. Pacquiao 16 out of 99. Plotty 9 out of 30. Pacquiao has won five consecutive rounds to start the fight. No, Pacquiao is not hurting Claudi. He is reducing Claudi to what he reduces all fighters to that he's fought recently. He's overwhelming Claudi. This is not as though Claudi's not fighting as he normally does. This is how he fights. He likes to block punches before he counters. And Pacquiao's offense is so overwhelming. Pacquiao never stops punching and Claudia never stops blocking. In the last 30 years, there have been three star fighters from Ghana. The very great Asuma Nelson fought to win in every fight. No flies on him. And both are Ike Quarte and Joshua Claudia have been spectacularly talented in the ring. But going down the stretch in those close fights, Quarte never did stretch out. He was going to save his own. That's why he lost his big fights. And at this stage right here, this fighter here, it's looked like he's the same type. He's come from the same mode. He's got the talent, but he seems to be still a little too reserved. And we're to get tired. Not we're willing to, to lay himself on the line to try to win the fight. Right. But but this is how Claudi fights, and normally it's enough to win. In, uh, you know, except when he stepped up against Bob Benson. Right. But he knew he was fighting Manny Pacquiao. But when he steps up in class, he loses. And what we all knew is that he would have to be someone he's not to win. We're asking a lot of him. Right. He's and being he's, who he is. He's, he's, and, and I think it's really a testament to Pacquiao so far. Well, you know, if, if this is the verdict and we're going to watch 12 rounds of this, then Pacquiao's too good. Throws too much. Moves too much. Commands the ring too much. He's been in charge of the ring. And yet, and yet, Claudi is landing. Yep. Lands both, of the, lands both of those right hands. Lands that combination. But now here comes Manny. This is a very active round by Claudi's standards, and, and Pacquiao still outthrowing him. I think he would do more if he would throw more punches meeting Claudi, but, you know, somewhere along the line, I know Manny is a machine, but, you know, I, I don't know if he's going to get tired physically or mentally. But to... Emmanuel, as you mentioned, Claudi doesn't open up because that's when Manny Pacquiao catches opponents in combinations, in exchanges. Well, the best way to stay on your feet is not to open up against Pacquiao. It's another onslaught by Pacquiao to cement the round. His four-hour workouts are becoming legendary in the sport. So if he gets tired, that's an event. And once again, in the round, Pacquiao is going to throw close to 100 punches, 94, and Claudi through 35. You cannot win the fight. Let's create openings now, okay? Let's create openings. Let's take a chance, huh? Come on, baby. Seven draw, come out. Breathe in. Breathe in. 
this hard. Let's faint. That's how he's gonna jab your hook over it. Be ready for the hook. Okay. All right? Okay. The pain's gonna dry it out. Pain, all right? He's jabbed his hook. Hard hook over the side. Past the halfway point of the fight, round seven begins. Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim, six to nothing, obviously. 60 to 54, Manny Pacquiao. I gotta tell you something, Jim. People may hate me for saying this, but you know what? This guy's fighting scared. I, I mean, he doesn't want to open up. Lenny Dace is begging him. Open up, open up, punch, punch. He, he won't do it. And he won't do it. Up Wait a minute, man. Everybody said he was the bigger guy, the stronger guy. He opens up once in a while, but just like Jim says, not nearly enough to win a round. He's already given up six rounds, and every time Manny Pacquiao steps around and, and attacks him, he comes I mean, the guy is fighting a scared fight, and that's all there is to it. Danny Pacquiao winning all these rounds with clean, effective punching. Six to nothing, Pacquiao. I mean, the reality of Pacquiao is, yeah, first of all, Claudio opened up a little bit there. He had momentary success. But if you open up against Pacquiao, when it is unwise to do so, you go to sleep. And so to fight a scared fight, I mean, he's, he's clearly, you know, Claudio's not known for a high outpunch output in the first place. Um, and now he's facing a guy who can punch and who's throwing a hundred punches around and stepping around him and boxing him beautifully. You move your hands at your own peril. A big thing is that Claudi just isn't trying to counter Pacquiao. He's not taking advantage of Pacquiao's aggression in any way. That's what he would have to do, it seems no, to me, to win the fight. He don't want to take a risk. Well, you can't win unless you're going to take a risk against, I mean, you're already down six rounds against the best fighter in the world. Give yourself a shot. That's what Lenny DeJesus is trying to say. But champions are made on the inside. I've always said that. It's made from the way they think and the heart. It's not so much all the time the skills. And that's why Lenny is the champion, and he is the challenger. Everything he doesn't want to take the risk. He doesn't think like a champion. Marte was right there with Delaware for 12 rounds. Oscar took risks in the 12th round and knocked him down. But, and everything you're saying, guys, is right. But I see a, well, I see a mouse on Randy Pacquiao's right eye. I've seen him hit here in this fight more than he's been hit against, I mentioned, Delahoya, Cotto, um, Diaz, Hatton. I mean, he's beaten the hell out of everybody recently. Claudio's not the only one. In fact, he's doing a little better than those other guys. Yep. was trying to come in. Pacquiao's defense and ring generalship have been good too. Yeah, I've never seen him in the Russian history. Just stayed off the ropes. Yep. Very good. Okay. Let's be creative. Let's throw punches now, okay? Pacquiao 16 out of 88. He's still not connecting any Manny Pacquiao-like percentage, but he's still throwing a Manny Pacquiao-like number of punches. Claudio was 7 of 39. What's significant about the 39 punches? Well, those are the most punches that Claudio has thrown in any round in this fight. But the welterweight average is about 56. So he hasn't been even within range of an average welterweight's offensive output at any time in the fight. Pacquiao, on the other hand, is averaging nearly 100 punches thrown per round against a guy who's bigger and stronger. Manny Pacquiao is amazing. It's as simple as that. 
I guess that's that's my point, Jim, is I see this as a brilliant Pacquiao more than a scared Claudia. Remember, of course, that regardless of the outcome of tonight's fight, Pacquiao begins a political campaign for a position in the National Legislature of the Philippines on March 26th. And if he's elected, he enters the legislature as a representative in July. And who knows what that would do to his boxing career or even to his popularity on, as a Filipino on, icon. They don't love politicians okay. the same way they do uh, athletes. Time out. Time out. Okay. Time out. Get up, okay? Okay. Time in, let's go! Accidental headbutt. Oh, low blow. Also, Claudie, while being physically strong and having talent, is not exactly an A-plus talent fighter. He's not the fastest guy in the world. He's not the biggest puncher. More like an A-minus talent fighter. Yes. And at the end of the day, you okay? Let's go. maybe you never okay? enough offensive Let's game go. to really go to the top. There you go. Four punch, five punch, six punch combination. Body shot, body shot. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Try and stop it. Bang, bang. Here I come. Bang. Do you want to throw sometime? Bang. This is the Manny Pacquiao who has dominated boxing for the past three years. Bang. Bang, 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 bang. And when Pacquiao... You want to throw back? Bang. Keep coming. When Pacquiao starts doing this, now I tend to agree, Claudie has to do something to keep him off. He is a... Another one-sided round. Yeah, dude. Let him relax. Let him relax. It's okay, I'm sorry about that. You gotta keep it clean, okay? I'm sorry. Let's go. No problem. Relax. We're losing every round. So let's get to it. We're losing every damn round. Come on. You're going back to... In and out, okay? okay. okay. That is beautiful, that round. You, know, you can't catch it. Okay. All right? Combinations out, make a miss, okay? Uh, Remember, he's gonna throw back when you finish, so okay. you can't stand in front of him. Okay. Eight rounds, Manny Pacquiao's thrown 785 punches. He threw 104 of them in the last round. Or was it 118? Well, at any rate, it was a huge number. Bang, 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 as I pointed out. And Claudi did not have an answer in the corner when Lenny DeJesus said, you're losing every damned round. Well, he's used to that, I guess. When he just doesn't want to stretch out and take any risk at all. He's trying to win safety, but it's not going to happen. He realizes that this guy's out punching him, and when he does punch, he doesn't land that pretty old man anymore. He needs to step it up, but he's not willing to take that risk. So. First half of the fight, I would say that Claudi wasn't out of his mind to play some defense and try to pick his shots when he could. Right. Hard shots. Right. Now we're into the point of the fight. Now going into, we're in the ninth round. He's lost every round. He's starting to get tagged more cleanly and more frequently. Now is the time of the fight where I wholeheartedly agree. Claudi must really take chances because the win is already out of reach if he doesn't. It's going to have to be a knockout for him to win. I'm sorry, whether he was intimidated by Pacquiao's reputation or intimidated by what Pacquiao did in the ring or whether he didn't mentally prepare in such a way to be ready to take the risks, he hasn't given himself any chance in the fight. Well, this is him fighting his regular fight to me. 
Yeah, er yeah, early on. Regular fight. There you go. Best attack of the night right. by, by Joshua Clotty. But Manny is doing the, the, the Clotty on him. He's, yeah, block, he's, he's coming blocking, up. blocking those shots. Yep. And hoping he can keep him punching like him and maybe he can catch him. Manny's defense has improved during the fight. Yes, it is. And he's still able to release his hands freely inside and out. Like that. And that. trying to take Pacquiao's measure. Look at this. I can hit him cleanly. Maybe I can set him up. And at some point along the way, Pacquiao, it seems, has convinced him he can't win the fight. Like touching of the gloves at the end of the ninth round. Tacit acknowledgement by Claudi. Yep, you got me. Come on. Let me hold it. Relax. Relax. You're taking a whip, me, baby. Let's go. What's going on? Come on. We haven't won around, baby. We're gonna do something. Come on. You're on the mission, remember? All right? The boom, the ramp. You have to be set when you land, okay? You have to be ready, okay? All right? Quick one, two, out. Right hand, left hook. Eyes, he came into the ring and he gave me a look up his throat. Yeah, you know, when you're fighting for a championship of the world with everything on the line, millions of dollars, and, 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 and you're not even throwing punches, I mean, there's no excuse for that. You know, you just want to let everything hang out, even if you get knocked out, at least go out fighting. Tough fight to score, Harold. The only thing tough about this fight is you wonder if you should give Manny Pacquiao with 10 8 rounds, he's, he's winning these rounds so big. That's the only tough part, Jim. 9 to nothing, 90 to 81, Manny Pacquiao based on all those clean punches. I mean, and like you said, some ring generalship and good Manny Pacquiao defense. See that? He flanked those shots. I mean, he's just putting these rounds convincingly. So, you know, you sit and wonder, should you give him the extra punch, should you give him the extra point? But Joshua Plotty knows just enough to avoid the 10 8 round. 9 nothing, Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao continues to bang away against Joshua Clotty's guard, occasionally getting a punch around the guard or through it. And Clotty throws one punch at a time, as he's done all night long. Our Max Kellerman winds up in the Pacquiao corner with training Leonard De Hace, Lenny DeHaces. Max, take it away. Lenny DeHaces. Early on, Clotty seemed to be countering at times effectively, never moving his hands enough. At this point, he obviously needs something dramatic to win. What's going on? Tell him he went back to his old style. Uh, he's trying to push him to throw more punches because if he throw punches, he create openings, but he's not doing that. I think he's being too cautious. In the game, he has to take a chance, but he's not. Why do you think that is? I think he's feeling uh, many power, power, many Pacquiao's power. And he doesn't want to take the chance. Simple as that. Thanks, Lenny. Fascinating. Two years ago, Pacquiao was fighting at 135. Now Lenny believes that Clotty is scared of his power. I think exactly the same way. I think he felt that power. And, and then he, and he, and he, he took it, so he didn't want to take a risk. And that's just how Manny is a champion. Manny will get You know, when you're fighting for the championship, you don't try to win the title from a champion. You take it from him. 
come in with that attitude, I'm gonna take this, this is mine. Give it to me. Well, and he's not fighting anyway, he's just trying to just survive. You know, don't get hurt. You know, do that later on, but you're fighting for the championship for the world, and let it all go. Now, here's another point, and you just made this point about Pacquiao, really. You cannot be a great offensive fighter without taking risks. Many Pacquiao is never afraid to take risks. And that's why he's a champion. To me, such a drastic change after being a fighter like Tommy Hearn. When you tell him sometimes to play it safe, he says, no, I've got to go out and fight. I mean, it's, it's really frustrating. Pacquiao is having the work. Pacquiao is taking some punches. Pacquiao is getting hit and bruised. Pacquiao is winning big. This is the 11th round, okay? I know you got the power to knock him out. You got the strength and you're in condition. Take chances, baby. Let's take a chance in this one coming up. If you don't take a chance, you go home lower. Okay? Yeah, take this. Come on. Listen, take a chance. Take a chance. He's tired. He's desperate. Okay? Manny Pacquiao threw 120 punches in the 10th round, landed 27. His connect percentage is going up, and he has already, with two rounds to go, thrown more punches in this fight than in any fight he has ever appeared in between. Because he's had to, and he did it. Whatever he had to do, he did it. He saw he wasn't going to land the clean punches on a knockout. He said, let me just start putting these, you know, they're like putting money in the bank, start building up, building up. And that's what I thought he should do. He's doing a great job. And I'll tell you what, Emmanuel, let's go. I've never really said this before. Of all of Pacquiao's fabulous assets, I'm beginning to think that his greatest is his heart. Well, he thinks and fights like a champion. And that's what makes him a champion. He's made on the inside. That's especially good when on the outside you're as fast as anyone, a very hard puncher, and have endless stamina. Thirteen, two, twelve, two, ten. Time running down. Lenny DeJesus asked Clyde to take a chance. Hasn't happened so far. But you see, who are we expecting to show up tonight? And Clyde seemed to be winning the Cotto fight late and eased off the accelerator and wound up losing a fight he could have won against an inactive opponent. Very Quarte-like. But I think also he's got the power of Manny Pacquiao too, and I think it's increases. Uh, tendency to the whole back and you see and when, hesitation. He, when he came out early in this round after the haste was afforded oh, oh, him, let's go, let's go, let's go. he tried to kind of take a chance in his way early in the round and then got discouraged and went back to who he is And he comes right back. If you hit me, I'm gonna come back with a couple more punches. That's, that's the competitor, and it's right. Claudia, it doesn't have that in him. That's the guy. Oh, what a display! What an amazing display by Pacquiao. Claudia's having maybe his best round, and Pacquiao is rising to the occasion. Take it right back from him. He's not gonna let him have. Oh man, you need a knockout. We don't go knockout, we go home with nothing. 
Breathe in, breathe. Breathe in. Quarter. Last round coming up. Last round. In its way. This is more impressive to me, Emmanuel, than watching Manny knock out Oscar De La Hoya and Ricky Hatton. He's been put to the test. He's been and he's came back and was resolved to make it still won every round virtually still. And if you get caught in round, you give it to him because he beat better in one day than he did in one. He hasn't won in a long time. No, somebody might give him a sympathy round, but this one will be a round. I don't see which one. I don't see which sympathy round you can give to him. I agree. Let's see who closes this show. Ron's never been knocked out. Manny landed 36 punches in the in the 11th round. His high number for the fight. Maybe he has softened the body up. And you're right, though. This is more impressive. Because you're in the fight where you're fighting a guy who doesn't punch much. I mean, he's got to throw almost double what he normally would have to throw. And what a opponent would be punching back. But we know what Claudia is. He's not an elite champion. Power down put by Claudia. But we also know he's in the... Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. They bump heads again. Okay. You okay? Let's go. Come on, please, please. Last round. Let's go. Incidentally, both sportsmen like, and they like each other. You know, Claudia wasn't able to generate any animosity toward Pacquiao if it would have helped him. But I don't remember murdering him. We, we do know that Claudia is a top welterweight. No excuses in his prime. And we've seen what he's done against other top welterweights. Barely lost. And he can't win a round against Pacquiao. And it's not that he's been getting hit that much. He can't win a round because he's not willing to throw punches. And that, that's the thing. Then he doesn't hit him with that many clean punches, but he's just out working. He's doing just what he has to do. Somewhere tonight, both Shane Mosley and Floyd Mayweather are likely watching this. Scouting report, so to speak. Surely, the winner of Mosley Mayweather on May 1 is going to be looking forward to the possibility of getting together with Pacquiao. What are they seeing? What are they looking at as they watch this? Surely, in Mayweather's mind, he's looking at someone whom he can bottle up and defend the way he has done to virtually every other opponent in his career. Well, in Mosley's mind, he's probably thinking, I'll trade with him. Let's see if he's as hard a bunch as I am. Well, that is the fight, even though it doesn't have a marquee value. Right that is the fight that would be the best fight that should be made would be Shane Mosley to me. And this man, the two offensive players. Two offensive man, guys who always come right back to the right when they get here. In terms of the, what would occur in the ring, absolutely right. You can't make a better spectacle in terms of the action in the ring than, and the level at which you can be contested than Mosley and Pacquiao. And he's grinning again a minute ago. In terms of the event and what the world wants to see, there's nothing that comes close to Pacquiao and Mayweather. Regardless of why, but... Exciting to do them fight yourself. That fight is a fight with a puppet one and it's made themselves. My dream fight with all of it, Manny Pacquiao and a friend, Aaron Foreman. The rest of the world's dream fight is Pacquiao and Mayweather, and their dream can come true if Mayweather takes care of business against most. Down the stretch they come. It looks as though Manny Pacquiao's spectacular winning streak continues. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from Cowboys Stadium, we go to the scorecards. Dwayne Ford scores at 120 to 108. Levi Martinez, 119-109. Nelson Vasquez, 119-109.